Hey, everyone. Welcome to Plants and Politics. I have some more news to share with you guys about the Supreme Court leak, about the overturning of Roe versus Wade and a woman's right to choose. But I want to play this video for you first. You have no choice. None of you have any choice. Your body is mine, and you have to obey me. So that's a really mask off moment, isn't it? Right? An insecure, so called quote unquote man, likely an incel, admitting what we already know that this has nothing whatsoever to do with unborn, quote unquote, babies. This is 100% from start to finish about controlling women and about believing that they own us and our bodies. And, you know, the white fright in his desperate words is just, it's perfect. I mean, you know, it's, oh my God. I mean, if I can't force myself on a woman and forcefully impregnate her, I might lose my white privilege and become a minority in America. I mean, he can't have that, you guys. And someone pointed out that he might be a groiper um, because they said that the hat that he was wearing, the America First hat, was a groiper hat. Now, if you're not familiar with that term, it's a term coined by Nick Fuentes, who did an America First literally white nationalist, white supremacist rally down in Florida at the same time as the RNC had an event. And Marjorie Taylor Greene attended and then claim that, oh, I didn't know that Nick Fuentes was a white supremacist. I didn't know he was a full-blown, self-admitted, complete and total racist and bigot. But yeah, so... If that guy, if this guy is related to that whole thing, I wouldn't be surprised. And guess who called this guy a hero? Of course, Marjorie Taylor Greene. Yeah, she has a type. Um, and remember, she's got her own white fright to deal with, right? And she's apparently a very weak woman who loves to be controlled by men. She's like, please, please tell me what to do, sir. Please control my every move and please control other women so that they won't discover how fearful and weak and pathetic and what a fraud I really am. And I pretend to be tough, but I really need men to tell me what I can and can't do. How sad. I mean, who knows? Maybe green can be this guy's first. I mean, it's not like little Miss Christianity didn't already cheat on her husband. But anyway, um, enough with the sad sacks. So majority leader Chuck Schumer has announced that he's going to force a vote in the Senate on uh, the abortion rights bill. This is a bill which is called the Women's Health Protection Act. It would federally codify into law a woman's right to choose. And it's already passed the House. But Schumer wants to get every senator on the record about whether they support women and whether they agree with about 70 percent of Americans or if they support the hypocritical extremist 30 percent of Americans who apparently believe that a few unformed cells are more important than a woman's life and her future. Now, as I've mentioned before, Republicans Murkowski and Collins are pro-choice, but apparently they're opposed to the Democrats' bill, so they've drafted their own, and they're out there trying to rally support for it. Now, most notably, their bill will allow for the Catholic hospitals the, the continued right to refuse to perform abortions. The Democrats' bill makes no carve out, and honestly. You know, on one hand, I think, who cares, right? If that's allowed to stand and Catholic hospitals can refuse service, as long as there's ample locations for women to be served other than that, as long as Republicans don't keep trying to shut down abortion clinics in various states, then it's not an issue. Um, but if they do, if they keep up with these games, then I say sweep the leg. You know, if they're not going to play fair and they keep trying to circumvent existing abortion laws, because remember, it still is a right, 
Roe hasn't been overturned yet. Um, But if they keep trying to subvert these abortion laws, then I say they have to abide by federal laws. No exceptions, period. If they're not going to play fair, why should we? If separation of church and state is just an old saying and it actually has no basis in reality, and these religious zealots can force their choices on 70% of us, then, okay, if those are the rules, let's play by their rules. Let's go for the jugular. Make them perform abortions. And while we're at it, take away church's tax-exempt status. They want to play hardball, then play right back. Unfortunately, we have weak Democrats that never do. Anyway, um, here's more bad news related to the story. Republicans in Louisiana are pushing through a bill that would allow the authorities to charge a woman with homicide if she got an abortion. And under this new law, it states that at the moment of fertilization, those cells that haven't even formed yet, they're going to grant them full rights of a living human being, living, breathing person. They will have the same rights. These power-hungry idiots are out of their minds. But let's talk for a second about the idiots in the Democratic Party, too because we have to. Nancy Pelosi and Jim Clyburn have thrown their full support behind anti-choice Texas Democrat Henry Cuellar. In less than two weeks, there's going to be a primary election. This is in the 28th district of Texas. And rather than supporting a true progressive who believes in a woman's right to choose, both Pelosi and Clyburn have been very vocal, very public, in their support of Cuellar. Now, I've talked about him before and about how much money and backing he gets from anti-abortion groups. And yet the very day after this Supreme Court document was leaked, James Clyburn hops on a plane and flies down to stump for Cuellar in Texas. So if you're getting desperate emails and text messages, as I have, from Pelosi's fundraising operation. And it's talking about how, oh, she's so sick to her stomach over Roe versus Wade. Please do what I did and respond back to her and tell her to just go take some Tums or something, some brioche. It's all bullshit. This is a great fundraising tool for establishment Democrats. But at the end of the day, they don't give a damn about a woman's right to control her own body and her future. That's just a fact. This is why they never codified it into law. Even when Obama had a supermajority and they held all of Congress and the White House, it is the perfect wedge issue for them to keep those campaign coffers full. And remember, Cuellar isn't just anti-choice. He's also under investigation for allegedly taking part in some sort of illegal activity involving Azerbaijan. So Pelosi and Clyburn could back a bright woman, perfect timing, right? An immigration attorney, also a true progressive, Jessica Cisneros. Instead, they've chosen to throw their names and their power and their clout behind an anti-woman alleged criminal. And people wonder why I hate establishment Democrats as much as I hate Republicans. Ladies and gentlemen, I give to you exhibit number 3,924. I don't know, 5,011. I mean, I can't even keep count at this point. Anyway... I'll let you guys know if I hear any more. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Take care. I'll talk with you soon.